Ancestry.com slash join. Okay, my name is Jen. What's your name? I'm George. Hi, George. What brought you out today? What'd you think? Um, I, I, it was great. Um, you know, there's nothing like kind of having a stressful day and then going to a Bernie Sanders rally and just feeling good again, being around just great people. And uh, I, I've been like looking around all night trying to find you guys. I waited for it to clear out and I see you and Jamal and it's just, I just wanted to meet you really. And That's which, awesome. Jordan, I hope you feel better and take it easy. Rest. You deserve it. He's, he's yeah. the best. I just love you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, it's it's so sad. Yeah, poor Jordan got sick. He's really run down. He works so, so hard. So he's taking a much deserved break. <laughs> what do you, how do you think the caucuses are going to go tomorrow? Well, I'm a little nervous. At um, In 2016, I went to a caucus downtown, and um, I don't want to use words that are going to, uh, I don't want to swear, but there was a lot of uh, shenanigans. And, That's my favorite word. <laughs> and, and there were issues, and I kind of had to, like, explain to certain people that, like, you can't vote for someone else who's not the, you know, like, one the woman running our group was like, my son's too busy, I'm placing his vote, and I... We had a big argument, but I had to explain, I want to see him vote, you know, and it was just, it, it just didn't go well. Um, tomorrow, I anticipate that there's going to actually be more Bernie Sanders people there who were with the campaign to keep it on the up and up. But um, the reason I didn't vote early and I'm actually going to the caucus is because I just don't trust the process. Um, I, 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 I don't trust what's going to happen with the process, so I just want to be there to see it for myself, but I have a very good feeling. Um, and... You know, uh, you know, like I said, unfortunately, Bernie doesn't just have to win. He has to win by so much more. But um, hopefully he'll do that. I'm a, I'm a boomer Bernie bro. I was born in 62, so I'm one of the people that grew up like my family. We, you know, we, we'd be together and we were like supposedly the most liberal. We were anti-war. We were pro-women. We were pro-choice. We were everything. And now um, it's 30 years later and the candidate we wanted our whole life is he's here. And for some reason, I seem to be the only one of the only few in my family that actually understands this is the guy we've been waiting for. You know, this is the guy that's uh, standing up for the things we've claimed to believe in, the things we claim to fight for, uh, the guy who, who shares our morality and our values. So um, it's disappointing that a lot of people of my generation, a lot of family members, even my parents who are very old people now, um, you know, you talk to him on the phone, you hear Chris Matthews in the background. That's what you hear. So it's very disappointing, So, um, it, and it's very hard to discuss, clearly, with people of my generation. But um, there's a few of us that are old like me that, that uh, still believe in what we believe in. And I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not the kind of man Bernie Sanders is. Uh, he's, I think he's one of the great... I think he's a once-in-a-lifetime. He's a generational... Uh, candidate, I like I said, he's the person I've been waiting for my whole life, and I've been a fan of him for a long, long time. But um, it's nice to know that um, that at 57 years old, and I'm also disabled, and I have health issues, and <laughs> my rent, uh, I couldn't join. I finally joined Status Quo a couple weeks ago because my rent has gone up 250 bucks in the last two years. I was finally able to. Uh, move and find a place to live that I can afford and now I can you know do things like this but um, it's it's just uh, it, it's it's just uh, it's nice to know that at this point in my life um, and living in a city where they're you know you know you talk about South Bend they're doing it to downtown Las Vegas now the same thing they're criminalizing homelessness uh, you walk around and you see what goes on and it's nice to know that this man and these people and to see the only client and Nina Turner there's nothing better than hearing Nina Turner speak it's, it's just nice to know that they're fighting for people like me and people who have it quite frankly a lot harder than I can even imagine so I'm gonna caucus tomorrow I'm going to hope for the best. I'm not religious, but I might pray. And um, I'm just going to just do my part. And again, I just want to thank you guys. You're, you're my favorite. Um, like I heard the other gentleman mentioning Mike uh, Figueredo and, and everyone else in the independent media out there. But you guys are my favorite. Um, I just got a new phone. It took me a few days to figure out how to get the notifications. <laughs> so I, I was missing your live streams and I catch them at the end of the day. But there's nothing like after a long day, maybe I'm busy, I don't see the live stream, just to replay the status quo live stream, like walking around town or I, I play a little online poker. I don't, I just play free tournaments, but you know, to put status quo on in the background and it, it just kind of, it, it just, it makes me feel like I go from a bad day to 
feeling better, to having hope, and also realize there's young people like you guys who I just love who are doing this and giving it your all, and I know you don't sleep, and I know you probably don't eat well, and I know you have family. I don't know if Jamal has children, but I know Marcus, who I've met in town, who's a great guy, and I know everything you guys do. And uh, and also, it was great to join to hear a knot in the background, hooting and hollering. Yay! And, actually, and not were, scream, actually, even though we can't hear you. You were uh, uh, on when I joined, too, so I got to hear you say my name, too, and it just oh. it made my day. So that's it. I just you're, love you guys. You're the best. You're, you're bringing favorite. tears to my eyes. Yeah, it's honestly... Honestly, that means so much. Well, you know what, and I'm only a $5 member because I, my economic situation is tough, but, um, uh, and eventually it'll be more, mind you, but um, like I said, um, when when Jordan uh, had left the Young Turks and uh, I, I, I went through a period of like, is this the end of Jordan? Am I never going to see Jordan? I remember, I don't always say this, but I remember Cenk Uger saying, uh, after the Don Brazil thing, give me a hundred Jordan Sheratons. Mm -hmm. They have zero now, and now status quo has a Jen and a Jamal and a Marcus. So you guys are making that hundred Jordan Sheratons come true, and um, I just think you're the best. Um, you guys just inspire me. You keep me. Uh, I might have a depressed day, and there's nothing like just listening, even if even if you're talk, telling the truth and bringing up whatever whatever bad stuff may be going on it just it it really uh it turns me around and uh you guys are great you guys are the best i love you let's call stay here uh let's call jordan because he i know he's really loving what you're saying right now and it's so meaningful jordan hello you're on i'm sure you were just listening this, this guy this guy's gonna make me cry well, you made me. You you guys make me cry every time. Like uh, like I said, when I heard you guys say in my name that day, like I said, it took me a few months to sign up because over the last couple of years, every six month I re six months my rent was going up, and I would watch you and uh, other people have, have said the same thing. But you you talk about membership, and people complain. But you talk about it, and then you bring up if you're if you're having uh, financial trouble, if, you, if you're disabled or whatever, and like when you say that, it really chokes me up because I felt terrible, it, you know, about not being able to give just five bucks a month, and when I finally was able to move and put myself in a better situation and joining the day I joined, which is, it just made me feel, it made me feel so good, and I just hope you feel better. I know you, if you've, you you're, you're not just feeling sick. I know with your various surgeries, what you've uh, what you've been through. I, I have spinal cord damage. I've had neck issues. I've had surgery, and I'm a lot older, so I can't even imagine it. your young age. Um, but just hang in there and be better. And thankfully, you got well, a great team. Fortunately, I uh, today actually started feeling uh, pretty uh, significantly better. I, I oh, caught good. a pretty bad uh, viral cold oh, the last five days, but I'm starting to feel better. But I just want to make the point that, uh, and I'm sure Jen feels it now, being out there herself, but I mean, this is why we do this, because it really has infuriated me for the last four or five years that, you know, you see CNN and these, these pundits yeah. on CNN and MSNBC and all these places, and they're always, you know, pontificating about the American people want fill in the blank. Yeah. But they don't go out and actually talk to anyone. Right. They don't go talk to real people. They don't give the microphone to people because that's not in their business interests. And I think there's something so powerful. Um, it does, you know, Jen, nor I, there's nothing unique about us. It, it, it's unique to actually the news through real people, yeah. not just, uh, you know, not, not just people that are experts in something, not just people that are uh, the most articulate, but people that are struggling, people yeah. that have been left behind, people that yeah. have been screwed, people that have been poisoned, uh, yeah. disabled, yeah. Um, minorities, uh, sick. This is, to me, what, how you get real stories. This is how you break actual news, yeah. because when you're on the ground with the people, you're able to find out where the bodies are buried. Yeah. You're able to find out where the injustice is, where the corruption is. So uh, it's just amazing uh, hearing from people like you to know that what Jen and I have been doing and, and Colin and, and Marcus yeah. and Jamal. Yeah, uh, and Colin, I did mention him. So yeah. Thank you so much. 
Thank you. Thank you for everything. And like I said, watching you guys and uh, and just or, or just like I said, listening. Like if I, I if I'm walking around doing my stuff, I put my headphones in. I put. Um, YouTube on and I I either like sometimes I'll replay the live stream or I'll just watch a clip again and uh, like even coming to the rally today and being in a discussion with someone I got to mention well uh, uh, the clip where you were talking with Nina Turner about the super PACs and so forth and it it, it keeps me informed and uh, I'm not the smartest guy in the world but I was a working guy you know worked in in restaurants as bartender and management and destroyed my body doing it and quite frankly didn't get paid particularly well for it so you guys are out there fighting for for people like me and um, like I said people who who have it a, you can walk down around downtown Las Vegas and uh, on a bad on my worst day I can just take a walk around downtown Las Vegas and realize boy I'm pretty fortunate you know so thank you whether it's Standing Rock or Flint or any everything else you do you know, you guys, it's, it's not even like watching news. It's just, it's, it's just watching truth, you know. It's just watching, like, not just speaking truth to power, but speaking truth to people. And we get to see. And uh, I, I mentioned you to a lot of different people, and I hope they get to, they, they are watching you too. And I'm so glad your numbers, uh, your membership has gone up these last two weeks. So just the best of luck to you guys. You're the greatest. You're the best. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. I'm totally stealing that tagline, truth to people. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. And I wanted to say one other thing. I hope this isn't offensive. Um, I'm not particularly religious, but I come from a Jewish family too. And I decided sometimes when I watch you, I think of us as status Jews. So... <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay. Thanks for everything, guys. Can I give you a quick hug? Oh, my goodness, so yes. Thank you. So nice to meet you. It's great to meet you, too. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statusku.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as 5 to $10 a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statusku.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you.